These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here today and I'm doing my review for the Eco Nano Pro, but I thought it would be such a great idea to start this review in my car. This right here is something I am legitimately really very kind of, kind of hyper excited about. It's the Vaporesso Eco Nano Pro. I got on YouTube a few months ago and said that the Eco Nano was incredible, unbelievable, really long lasting, really good flavor. I wouldn't expect kind of anything else from Vaporesso. Yeah, I bought a little bottle of liquid to fill this up in the car. Fill off the sticker first. 0.6 coil, 1000 mAh battery, a six mil capacity. Eco Nano, let's go. Yeah, that flavor's good. I like the Eco Nano because it's always felt a little bit like a disposable, but it's completely not a disposable because this is all the waste that there is. I think that's so much better. Today is Friday, August 30th. Time is going to tell me everything I need to know about this. Today's just day one. I'll catch up with you way later. There's no puff counter on this. So I can't say like a thousand puffs or 1500 puffs, but it's gonna be a substantial. I like to test things. This is going to get drugged through the mud, thrown under the bus, put through the paces, fed through the teeth of the machine. So far so good, I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. It's a little bit better look at that screen. It's a cool screen. Why on earth isn't there a puff counter? I think this because this isn't really a screen, right? I mean, obviously things are lighting up in different colors, but this isn't a screen. This is all this can display, and this is all this can display, and they don't do anything, either of them. There's no animation in any way. Okay, that's all. I know, I'm still vaping it. Well, today is Monday, September 16th, and I believe I have put at least a thousand puffs, more likely more than a thousand puffs. And I can only say that pretty confidently because I've been using this Eco Nano Pro in tandem with another pod system and a few other pod systems that do have puff counters on them. And those puffs are getting to like the 1100, 1200 range. So I got to assume this is kind of somewhere in there. Here's where we're landing on the Eco Nano Pro. Basically everything I said about the Eco Nano can kind of be translated right to the Eco Nano Pro. It's still a great size, it's still a great weight, I can still do hands-free, the draw is still pretty tight, the flavor is still really good. When it gets low, I do kind of have to tilt it sometimes to get that last liquid out of the tank, but it's a six mil pot tank. I say tank, it's technically a tank. It is a six mil pod, which is noticeably bigger than literally everything that I'm using. And it's got a monster 1000 mAh battery on the inside. This Eco Nano Pro is just reliable. I like the new 0.6 ohm pods. I find them to be real flavorful. I find that they loosen up the tight draw on this just a little bit, enough to be, you know, just a little bit more enjoyable to me. Listen, the screen is pretty neat, but I don't necessarily love the screen because like another device recently that had a big screen, what is it really showing me? Like, what is this really bringing to the table? Don't get me wrong, the little spaceship in the moon and the mountains in the background is, is cool, it's neat, and I like looking at it, but what would have been great there is a puff counter. They advertise this, that it, you can have a lot of puffs. It's not 13,000 like the original Eco Nano, it's only 2,500. Incorrect, it's not 2,500. They actually upped the ante with the Eco Nano Pro and said it can do 25,000 puffs. I guess it's easy to say that it does 25,000 puffs if there's no puff counter on it. Okay, back to the other guy. The little switch on the side does make it real easy to flip it back and forth between eco mode and power mode. 100% of the puffs that I've put on this have been in eco mode. Power mode, at least with this 0 0.6 ohm coil, truly and honestly feels a little bit overpowered. Eco mode is delightful little bit of warmth, little bit of crackle, lots of flavor. Power mode is substantially warmer, but after like two toots on this, it felt like it was on the verge of going dry. I feel that if this was run continuously in power mode, the lifespan of these coils is gonna be substantially shorter. I kind of can't believe how good the flavor is still on this 0.6 ohm pod. If someone had just handed this to me and I vaped it and, and I didn't know, this could feel like a brand new pod. I mean, the flavor is still 
so good. I really like the original Eco Nano and I like this Eco Nano Pro. If the original Eco Nano got eight banana stickers, then this one, it does have a screen and at least it has two power modes now. And at least it has like a battery level percentage on it now. That's worth at least another half a banana sticker. But Vapresso, we're not gonna get to nine or 10 banana stickers with the Eco Nano series unless I get a puff counter. Prove to me that these coils can go the distance because in my heart of hearts, I kind of believe that they can, but without those numbers, I need the cold hard data. I'm just not going to believe it. I think even though it's not exactly where I would like it to be, it is a legitimate upgrade from the Eco Nano and the Eco Nano itself was a banger. I can't tell you where to get these and I can't tell you how much I cost, but I would be surprised to see this kit for more than mm, $35. And I guess lastly, if you're someone who still smokes combustible tobacco cigarettes, hi, it's time to switch. All of the science says you should, and it has literally never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a grim green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and then I'm uh, just going to smoke. So and it's got a big monster 100, 100, <laughs> but would have been, <laughs> tag it, wrap it, book it, ship it, and do it.